Hi, in this tutorial I will be talking about DHCP failover on Windows Server 2019. DHCP failover in Windows Server 2019 is a feature that enables two Microsoft DHCP servers to share service availability information with each other, providing DHCP high availability. DHCP failover works by replicating IP address leases and settings in one or more DHCP scopes from a primary DHCP server to a failover uh, partner server. When two DHCP servers are configured for failover, they will share scope information, including all active leases. This enables both DHCP server to provide leases to the same subnet for load balancing and redundancy purposes. In this figure, we do have two servers, DHCP Server 1 and DHCP Server 2. DHCP Server 1 is our primary DHCP server, and DHCP Server 2 is our partner failover server. So, by replicating the IP address leases and settings of DHCP scopes, from a primary DHCP server to a failover partner, we are creating a DHCP failover cluster. Such cluster will provide load balancing and redundancy in our network. So that if server 1 is down or is shut down for any reason, server 2 will have the same information of our primary DHCP server and will keep providing our clients on the network with the required TCP IP network configurations. This is basically our DHCP failover network diagram. So here I'm using, in my server 1, I'm using my Windows Server 2019 and also on my server 2. And my client, we are going to test our configurations once we configure our uh, failover. I will be testing on Windows 10 uh, clients. Now I will be configuring my failover. Uh, this is my primary server. Open your server manager. Uh, click on tool from the top right and select your DHCP uh, manager. Once the DHCP server uh, windows open, um, double click your server. Uh, expand this one. Uh, select IPv4, right click and configure failover. And this is my scope available. So this is the network ID 192.168.1. Uh, click next. Uh, uh, type in your the IP address for your partner server. So 192.168.1.2. This is the partner server. Uh, click on next. So create a new failover relationship. Uh, so the uh, relationship name. And in the mode, select hot standby. So hot standby, uh, making a primary server and a passive secondary server. Uh, clear enable message. Clear this uh, section here. Click on next and click on finish. So here it says all successful. Close this. At this point, we need to verify that the information of our DHCP replicated to the uh, our partner server so here I'm on the uh, secondary DHCP server uh, open your server manager click on tools and select DHCP manager um, here um, uh, expand your server select and expand your server select IPv4 and as you see here the scope replicated successfully with all other information such as address pool and reservation. So one more step, uh, a DHCP server must be authorized in the Active Directory before it can assign IP addresses. So we need to authorize uh, our uh, secondary uh, DHCP uh, partner. So uh, click on your server name and right click, click on authorize. Then right click, click refresh, 
and now it should be authorized now at this point I want to test my DHCP failover uh, here I'm using Windows 10 uh, the account of employee one uh, so if you type in from the command prompt ipconfig space forward slash all I will see my DHCP server and the IP address so this is 192.168.1.1 so this is my primary DHCP server what if this server will go down what if this server will fail this is where we are going to test our DHCP failover cluster so here I'm back on my primary DHCP server from server manager click on tools I select your DHCP once the DHCP managers windows open from the left side select your uh, server name and from the right side you click on more action click on all tasks and stop this DHCP so once the DHCP server is offline or shut down now we are pretending that my primary server is down so now the uh, partner server should give uh, provide IP address configurations for our clients on the network so going to back to my employee one uh, computer let's test our failover configuration by releasing the current uh, uh, IP configuration from your command prompt right uh, type in IP config command space forward slash release to release the current uh, configuration uh, once uh, it's released uh, again IP config uh, space forward slash uh, renew so as you see we received a new uh, IP address with a new subnet at default gateway um, let's check something now um, let's check the failover so IP config space forward slash all and if you check I, uh, the DHCP server IP, you will see it's our uh, secondary uh, server. So 192.168.1.2. And this is our failover. Um, it took over the charge after our primary server uh, failed. So this is the idea of uh, DHCP failover clustering. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and. Talk to you later. Bye.